Hello friend, welcome back. Um, this is going to be a short video introducing this piece of work. Um, it's a big canvas as far as sort of I go. It's the, it was one of the first, well it is the first big canvas I've done. Um, in mixed media. I've done a, a larger canvas in oils um, copying somebody else's work, a pastiche if you like, um, but it would be interesting to to get any opinions on this if you if you want to. I'll, I'll hold it back and you can have a look at it and I'll explain it to you um, and then we'll take it from there okay. Okay so I need to hold it back here and get it into some sort of wait, if I put it on there maybe. Can you see that then? Let's bring you around okay you sort of see the whole thing in there okay now this is um this is called escape okay and i'll tell you for why shortly um let me get some sort of pointer here we go we can see that can't we now i'll show you a close-up of these in a minute this is going to be an oily puddle what i'd like is this to be um, you know how the oils and, the, and the, the, the blues, greens and yellows of an oil slick shine through here. This is what I, was, this is what I like. Coming up to what is essentially a, a beach with, with bits of oil on it. Um, this is going to be, this is a, a brick wall where with, with some fallen off plaster revealing brick and there's going to be a, a large bright graffiti on here okay don't ask me what but it's going to be on there it's going to carry some sort of message relevant to the painting I think but I haven't decided what it's going to be this corrugated tin this is um, going to possibly have a, a, a small sort of poster maybe torn um, aged on here that has some significance and then there's going to be, I'd like the idea of some um, graffiti sprayed on, on the, on, on, on the um, corrugated iron. Up here, this area, I'm not sure you can see all of it, this is a city scape in the background beyond the wall and the fence. Um, and this is going to remain dark I think with some bright um, and diffuse light coming from here so you can see that there's life in there if you like. Um, this piece obviously is, is um, a rip through the canvas which, which is supposed to be, this is just hanging on at the moment because I haven't actually exactly sort of worked out where it's going to go. But what I like the idea of in here is um, a nice oak tree maybe, some yellow in the field, maybe rapeseed oil, um, rapeseed, um, a track and I want two figures in here. They're going to be young children, possibly a girl and a boy, um, possibly eight or nine, something like that, nine or ten, and they're walking away from this scene. They've, they've broken out of the city through the canvas they're walking into what hopefully for them is a better brighter and cleaner future they've both got a bag the girl will be carrying a doll or a teddy the boy will be having ha have a case and he'll be actually looking back looking back at the scene so he's looking at you but he's also looking back at what he's left behind those leaving behind and the idea is that in my head is that this is the youngsters seeing at an early age just how bad things have got in some places and making a decision early on to to find somewhere cleaner and brighter or to do something about it um, I'm not sure walking out walking away is doing something about it but that doesn't work with this painting I can't really do anything else um, okay let me show you this a bit closer 
so you can get a feel for the texture involved and what I've used to create the texture. Um, this here is purely corrugated cardboard and I've there's a there's a block of um, polystyrene foam in there okay to give the depth um, excuse me this is big and heavy and it's hurting my arm uh, piece of timber down here to give you the timber the, the, the light isn't um, doing this justice at the moment but these are all um, covers from laptops and computers for example this this here which is beautiful that is actually the side of an a, a BBC Acorn computer um, and I glued some gold foil on the inside um, I don't think it's gonna make a great deal of difference but this is this is the laptop the battery cover of a laptop um, this is actually computer cable the thin cable if you can see what it is there um, this is actually from the base of a chicken carton that a chicken comes in um, this was cake actually I think this was muffins <laughs> um, I've used eggshells to get some sort of movement if you like or, or something rather than just paint a, a blank sky this I created really uh, I'm not I'm hoping it's going to work it's far too dark for me I think but it might actually just be perfect for my bright graffiti across here um, I'll lighten up the bricks slightly so that it works this sort of beach area is um, broken um, bits bits of broken plaster not plaster tile adhesive um, I had a box give a, a tub given to me and most of it was dark and hard so I actually took it out um, hit it with a hammer and I get this sort of effect um, this is just a polystyrene block that I've chipped into to make it look like I think I wanted to make it look like tar but it looks a bit um, tar or coal I suppose and then of course as we come along here um, if I tip this you'll see you'll get the effect I wanted to create an oily an oily um, puddle and, and and rubbish floating in it um, and, and that's what I've done I think what I'm going to do is darken these up a little bit I don't want them so bright because they they've been in oil for a long time so um, and of course this here is a, a, a canvas that's excuse the movement I've created you this is um this is somebody's top actually this is a, um, a nice what was a nice top um, but it has got this nice hang on I need to rest it again this is not going well for me I'll tell you what let me move it over here like this there we go I can rest it then right okay that's better um, yeah this was a nice top um, and it has this nice sort of canvas effect um, on the inside of it so I've, I've just cut a hole into it and created what I think is a, a burst from the canvas um, and this is just purely acrylic paint laid down to give me a, a feel for what I'm going to be doing um, and I and I love the fact that there's a horizon in this picture it's it's almost like a new horizon if you like um, it's quite a I didn't set out to create a pick an image or a canvas shall I say with a strong message but it's just turned out that way I didn't actually plan to to have this burst when I first started this um, and in fact I, I do remember now that I was thinking about when I thought about the burst I was thinking about this putting a city in here uh, and the clean country outside so I, I could actually do that couldn't I, I could reverse this whole concept um, and so that they have actually then left they've now left here and in the second canvas that would be this city and this would be the new um, new canvas that's a, that's a nice idea I quite like that idea they would um, they would go as a pair then wouldn't they I don't know whether pairs of paintings are good like vases I don't know anyway that is this canvas it's called escape simply because there's going to be two characters here escaping from the the glum city 
Um, I got a lot of hope for this. I think it's actually come on much more than... I haven't actually seen it for a long time because I, I sort of painted it all some time ago now. Um, and then I got really trapped in this. Whenever I picked it up, I could see the wrong colours everywhere. But um, I'm beginning to see after time that it actually doesn't look too bad, I don't think. Uh, and if I actually introduce some blue, this nice sort of electric blue with some yellow swirling in here, um, then there's going, obviously going to be a, a sort of a bright colour here with the graffiti and then there's going to be some light colour here with the graffiti tags and some sort of poster. Um, and then of course I'll add the odd light in the background there so I think it could work quite nicely. But I'll keep you up to date with this one guys. Let me put it down. It weighs a ton. Well it doesn't weigh a ton it's just that I've got a weak arm. <laughs> but um, Sorry about that. But yeah I'll keep you informed on this one like I am with the horse. I'd like to get the horse complete before I do this because horse, although I actually started this before the horse, um, the horse to me is the is the canvas that I want to complete first. So that is canvas number one um, and this will be canvas number two. Um, and we'll see where it goes. I, haven't, I couldn't imagine who would buy something like this but um, it's not why I'm creating it really. Although I did set out to be an artist to possibly help fund um, my bank account which is rather um, slim shall we say um, now I'm actually into it I I'm not doing it for the money if that sounds a bit stupid it, it, I'm just absolutely I've um, so many things have happened in this last week where I've been looking at art now that I've finished the, the studio um, and I'm in here I now am enjoying the studio if you like and it's opening up all sorts of um, new thoughts and I'm, I'm taking photos of everything believe it or not I took a photo before I get out of bed this morning because I saw the curtains against the wall in a certain um, a certain way that looked like some form of landscape so I took a photo and then got out of bed um, but I've learnt a lot this last few days in fact um, it's important I've actually made I'm looking up here because I've actually made a note on the whiteboard uh, and I've got up there that um, I've discovered that it's really important to balance the time that I'm in here the time that I'm on Twitter and the time that I am the me time with my wife and in, in the house um, I'm looking up here because I can look through a window to a house I'll show you one day into where we live. Um, I've also discovered that painting with fingers is, is brilliant. I've always wondered how you can blend acrylics. They don't blend very easily I found but a great way of doing it is, is with your fingers and then wipe off a bit more, bit more wipe off um, when I say wipe off with a wet, or not a wet, um, a dryish cloth, a dampish cloth just to to take some of the colour off while you're blending. Um, I've discovered that I do have trouble, I think in my mind, maybe not in reality, of balancing colours. Um, whether that's something I'll get you, I, I, I hope I get used to it because I, and I bought one of these things, it's a, um, a colour mixing chart which is pretty useful because um, you start with uh, the main colour and then the mixing colour and then of course you get the colour so I can hold anything against this chart but of course it does mean that you've got to have all these colours to be able to mix it and at the moment I've only been able to afford about um, that many colours but that will come. Um, yeah what else have I learnt? <laughs> I've learnt that it's very easy to ruin good brushes to leave brushes uncleaned um, you, you can rescue them with, with some paint um, but I, I actually used excuse me I used this brilliant brush on gloss glaze um, on something I can't remember what it was now I've used it on something over the last couple of days and, and I accidentally left two brushes with it on 
um, and then it spent me probably two hours with hot soapy water slowly taking this I, I mean I think I think most people would have thrown them away because they were caked um, I've also joined the club of dipping my paintbrush in my tea and drinking my dirty water um, I didn't think it was possible but I do it um, and the, the biggest thing I'm learning is to stop to step back and to look at a distance um, it's so so easy I found to get carried away when I was trying to do this the horse colors the background I put layer upon layer light then dark light then dark and then it suddenly struck me that I'm it's here and I'm not seeing it so what I got into then is hang, hanging it back up on there so I could then go away get a cup of tea in the house come back and see it fresh um, and then do, rather, rather than rush into it make the changes think about what it is you want to do and only do this is this is my advice because this is how I'm actually learning in my head is to um, look at the picture decide what needs changing or what you'd like to change and only sort of concentrate on an area although I think it's important to think of the whole painting in one go but when you're trying to adjust what you've done I'm finding personally that um, although I've got nothing to show for this I'm saying that I'm finding it's easier to to work on an area and get it to how you like it hang it back up see whether it's improved um, time will tell I suppose because I haven't finished anything yet so <laughs> uh, how could be I'm talking like an artist and I haven't got a finished canvas not to worry anyway thanks for watching um, sorry this I did waffle on a bit again it's another long one I'm sorry um, but I'm going back to our little friend the horse and I'm going to finish the horse okay um, and then if you have any comments with regards to this escape picture then I'll be uh, you know I'll be really pleased to to hear them thank you for following me on YouTube subscribing um, I'm going to be doing quite a few of these so it's a good idea if you like them to subscribe and then you'll automatically get updated when I send um, and if I send you on Twitter a direct message letting you know that I've uploaded a link if I've done that and I've upset you by by doing that then let me know because I don't want to be direct messaging people who who don't want to be direct messaged anyway um a big thank you to Maggie McWhirter and to Steve Putts oh what's his name sorry Steve Steve Putridge <laughs> big thanks to you guys fantastic support um and it's just fantastic. I'm in a new world at the moment. So until the next video then, you take care. Okay, goodbye.